I wanted to show you this. Go into Sora or ChatGBT, type in some kind of prompt, like Candron's children book, font sheet, black and white only, all characters spaced out, uppercase, lowercase, punctuation, and so on and so forth. And this one came out really nice, I liked it, but it's missing the letters after the M in the caps zone. So I hit remix in Sora and typed finish the font, M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-U-V, W-X-Y-Z, and this came out. These letters were a bit shorter, so I had to manipulate them a bit in Photoshop, but eventually I was able to piece them together and create this hand, this uh, font sheet. Then just go over to Glyph and upload your source image, and it'll go through and it'll extract the fonts for you. And once that's done, you can go and click on each of the font characters. You'll need to label them. So capital H, save, capital G, save. The other thing is, sometimes in the low quality area, good glyphs will get put. So click on that and hit the ups thumb so and label those. So those ones will come out of the low quality section. And if there's any that need to go into the low quality section like this one, hit down thumb and it'll pop it out. Then once you're on, done with that, hit vectorize. And if you're missing any glyphs, you can upload those by hitting add glyph. And then you can generate your font. Also, um, the Q and the J will be slightly bigger because of the tails. So hit standardize on those two, unless you have a longer tail that goes below the baseline. And the J sometimes looks a little strange, so you can hit edit, and that'll give you an editor, and you can adjust the size, the kerning, and the vertical um, position as well. Then once you're done with that, just hit save and close. And yeah, then you'll, again, you'll generate your TTF and you'll have a really nice looking font. You pop it out. And then the last thing is, once you're done, export your data. And that'll make a JSON file. And you can actually re-import that into the Learn 